welcome to the Creating a Harvest Batch in Metric Training. As a reminder, manicuring is defined as taking trimmings from a plant, while harvesting is defined as cutting the plant from the root ball and processing the entire plant. When harvesting, first go to Plants on the navigation toolbar running along the top of the page in Metric and click on it. Next, open the Flowering tab. To bring the specific plants we want to work with to the top of the list, set Sort to include those plants. Clicking on the plant tag header once sorts in ascending order, with the lowest numbered plant tags at the top. Clicking on the plant tag header again will sort in descending order, meaning the higher plant tags are on top and the tag numbers decrease as you read down the list. Now we can easily find the three plants we want to work with and select them by clicking on them. Highlight all three by holding the control key while clicking on the plant tag numbers. Once selected, click on the Harvest button. When working with more than one plant or package in Metric, the software provides a template to enter information once and automatically apply it to the related spaces in the additional plants or packages. First, enter the harvest name. The harvest batch name should at least be the strain name and the date of harvest. Additional information can be added, but the strain name and the date of harvest are a suggested minimum. Click on the Apply checkbox to have the harvest name populated for the three plants. Now the harvest name is entered for the subsequent plants. Next, designate the unit of measure. Select Grams. Then click on the Apply checkbox to populate the unit of measure for all three plants. Next, assign the drying location. Select the harvest location from the list provided. Then, click on the Select button. Next, click on the Apply checkbox to apply the drying location to all three plants. Assign the harvest date. Then apply the harvest date to all three plants by clicking on the Apply checkbox. Through the use of the template, all the information has been entered except for the plant's weight. The plant must be individually weighed. That weight must then be entered for each plant in the harvest. The first plant weighed 900.35 grams. The second plant weighed 1,123.45 grams. And the third plant weighed 1,100.54 grams. After entering the plant weights, review all the harvest information again to make sure everything has been entered correctly. Then, click on the Harvest Plants button. You'll notice our three plants are no longer under the Flowering tab. They have been moved to the Interactive tab as they are now included in the Harvest and found under the Harvested tab. And there is the Harvest Batch we just created. The filled-in star to the left of the Harvest name signifies a Harvest Batch as opposed to the empty star that represents a manicure batch. In addition to the harvest batch name, the column reports the strain, the drying location, and the number of plants, in this case three, and the wet weight of the plants. Here we see the accumulated wet weight of all three plants. Also, we can view waste, the total packaged amount, the number of packages, and the weight, which reflects the changes any time product is pulled from or waste is reported to the harvest. The amount of product packaged, or waste reported, will be subtracted from the quantity in the weight column. Even if there is no more physical product, you will still have a quantity in the weight column. That remaining quantity will be the weight associated with the moisture loss during the drying process. This will be discussed in greater detail in future trainings, but it's good to see here.